Radio Royal is essentially a, a radio station for the hospital. What we like to think we do is to, I guess, improve patients' lives when they're in here, make them feel a wee bit better. Also, uh, try and connect them nowadays with their families who are listening outside because we're now online and it allows the, the families to kind of interface with the, the patients when they're in here. My role on the radio is ward visiting volunteer and training presenter. I am the ward visiting manager, the volunteer manager and the record library manager. I'm a radio presenter which I do two shows a week and I am the training manager of Radio Royal which my job is on to train new members on a Monday night from quarter past seven to half nine at night where we gain a lot of experiences training them how to use the system, the equipment and then pair them up with presenters later on and to do their presenter training. My role in the radio is a ward visitor. I'll go around the wards and take requests from patients. I'm currently chairperson. I, what I try to do, I guess, is to give kind of direction to, um, to the, to the uh, executive and to the organisation generally. It's really the rest of the people, it's the organisation who do an awful lot of the hard work at the station uh, and I just give them a bit of kind of strategic direction, you might call it that, as much as anything. Okay, so your ward visiting manager is basically what it says on the tin. So we do ward visiting on a Tuesday and a Thursday night and basically we go around and um, speak to patients and see what they want on the radio and maybe just a general chit chat with them. So I'm in charge of that, just making sure it all runs smoothly. The record library manager, now that's a wee bit more of a tough one. So I'm in charge of putting all the songs onto the system and things like that and doing all the, the vinyls because we have something like 8,000 vinyls and some somewhat CDs as well. And then the volunteer manager, again, does what it says on the tin. You've got to welcome the new recruits in the door and deal with all the paperwork. What happens during the training is we set them down and we show them how the system works through Myriad and how to go online through the automation and to check the volume checks, sound checks and everything. Is everything working fine? And then later on, after their training is complete, then they'll be partnered up with a presenter and that presenter will train them how to use all the equipment and go on live at the same time. We've currently got about somewhere between 40 and 50 volunteers working with us. We've probably got about 20 to 25 presenters who do live shows. I joined Radio Royal because I quite liked the, the look of it and the sound of it from what friends had told me. At the time I'd just finished school and I had no longer a five day weekday but a three day weekday so I had a lot of free time so I thought I'd volunteer and I really like music so I thought a radio station would be a perfect place to volunteer. I joined Radio Royal because I wanted to be a radio presenter and that was my first step into doing so. I first heard about Radio Royal through a news article that Radio Royal did a few years ago. They were advertising doing a fundraising event in Stirling. I think it was the Radio Royal Road Show in the summertime and that's how my friend got me into the it. One of my good friends, Ryan, he informed me he had been a member here for about two years and then I just came up one night and enjoyed it so much that I joined. What happens on presenter training is that each trainee gets partnered up with a presenter. During the two hours, depending if it's a two hour show or an hour show, they gain a lot of experience how to present live on air, where the presenter gives them a chance to speak live on mic and gain the confidence to speak on live. So it concludes a lot of different things. So how to work the system, obviously, and a general thing. What all the faders are for on the signboards. Um, and just making sure that the person has a good understanding of what they're doing and they feel comfortable. I chose Radio Royal to volunteer at because it's the one that interested me the most. So it was nearby and I knew quite a lot of people who had said good things about it. So I felt like I wanted to give the community something, like to help out the community. And so that's what Radio Royal came about, is to give entertainment to the patients knowing that they don't have to worry about why they're in the hospital, knowing that they can enjoy music. And that's something that gives me great happiness. 
because I hadn't heard anything like it before, like at all, anywhere, any way, shape, or form. And I think the only other hospital station is St John's, I'm sure, in Edinburgh, that's the closest one to here. So it was just a great opportunity that I kind of leaped at. Probably playing the music. You know, I mean, my show tends to be, uh, or most of my shows at least, tend to be uh, kind of Motown and soul music. But mostly playing the music is, is the thing. But at the same time, it's important for us as presenters to remember that we're not really here necessarily to enjoy the music. It's a good thing to do if you can, but we're here to try and make patients' lives a wee bit better. What I enjoy most about the radio is presenter training and learning how to work all the buttons. What I enjoy about Radio Raw is coming up to do my shows each week and also I enjoy training the members and the new trainees. Oh, being a presenter, definitely. It's just one of the best parts of it because you get to train some of the new people as well if they want to be presenters and things like that. I just enjoy coming along and working as a team and just how much fun we have. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, we like, we like to think we, we kind of uh, just cheer up their lives a wee bit. If you just do it a wee bit then that's a success. <laughs>